back to the channel. If you guys are new here, smash that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because we post three videos every single week. Well, we're going to start doing it. So guys, we are doing it. Lucas and I have thought of a new idea for this channel. I want you guys to hit the like button if you like this idea. Show us in the comments and show us by your response. It's gonna let us know if you guys are feeling it. Lucas and I are constantly having discussions at night about various topics and I'm like, babe, we really need to start like talking to you guys about the topics that we talk about. So when Lucas and I are talking, we're always like, yeah, we agree with that or we disagree with that. So I'm like, why don't we make a new series? Um, where it's strongly agree, agree, neutral, disagree, and strongly disagree, and come at you guys with various topics and questions. And at the end of this one, if you really enjoy it, you need to comment down below your topics, what you want us to talk about, and whatever topic we feel like we want to talk about for the week. Right. We're going to go in the community tab, mm -hmm. and we're going to ask you guys questions that we need to discuss as a couple and as you guys together. If it goes well, I'll make a more professional board. <laughs> yes, if it goes well, I'll be more professional with it. The topic for today is gonna to be based around interracial couples. Mm -hmm. And because we're an interracial couple, I feel like, you know, there's a lot of assumptions, a lot of questions, a lot of things to talk about for this. So I wrote down a bunch of questions. What we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we agree with it, we'll put it here, strongly agree, agree, neutral, disagree, or strongly disagree. Assumption or question number one. There can be many unhealthy assumptions between interracial partners. For instance, like you look at me as a black person and say, well, oh, she must like chicken. Oh, okay. Or like he must like country music. Right. So there's a lot of like unhealthy assumptions when you're in a interracial relationship. Do you agree, disagree, strong, neutral, strong with me? Now, so are we talking about us or are we talking about just in general? Um, I'll say what we believe. Okay, like about interracial couples. Yeah, so like as an interracial couples, we we feel like there is an unhealthy. Are you ready? So which one do you think? I'm over here. I'm strongly disagree. I am going to say agree. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's hear. Who who goes first? Okay, so you go first. Go All ahead. Right. So so I feel like if you are in an interracial relationship, you are more open-minded and you probably have less of those stereotypes. So you're gonna be more, or you're gonna be less likely to have those kind of those miscommunications, those those assumptions about the other person's race. That's how I feel. That's how you feel. But yeah. I feel like when we first started dating, there was a lot of assumptions in the beginning. Oh yeah? Yes. All right, let's hear some. Um, uh, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> so I know, I know there was one of them like, <laughs> <laughs> he would always say, why is this? Why is uh -huh. this? Why is this? And I'm right, like, right. well, it's because of this. So I feel like there was a, in the beginning, there okay. was like a very much, um, like a, a misassumption. It was, okay. it was uh, to me. It felt like I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Let's yeah. be honest because right, I right. feel like this would be a great like a yeah. big discussion. I felt there was a lot of times when you made assumptions and I was like hurt by it. Oh gosh. <laughs> I think I think for, to me I was just more it was more like curiosity. Like if I didn't know something, but I was a lot like I was very vocal like about like right. my thought process. So I would just blurt out something like, "Why is this that way? Yeah, like yeah, what's yeah. going on?" You know. So like I, I can see what you're saying, but to me like I wasn't making assumptions about you. I was just curious. I was like I didn't understand something, so I'd ask. Exactly, <laughs> which in a way it would come up as like an unhealthy right. assumption. Like what is it, is it like that? You know? No, yeah. it's not. It's just yeah. Okay. Right. So now I feel like we've we've grown together. It's been like almost what? It's been like what? Thirteen, 13 years? years? Almost. Wow. Like yeah. This month. It's yeah. Thirteen years. Mm -hmm. So by now we like understand each other. Sure. But in the beginning it was like a lot of that. Okay. All right, I can see that. I can see. I can see in the beginning, especially in the beginning of interracial relationships. All right, so I'm gonna move mine more to like, I'm gonna go neutral. No, you can't do that. <laughs> I can't move, who makes up the rules? <laughs> so let me know. I want you guys to like put okay. number one and put. Do you agree or disagree? Let right, us right. know in the comment. Discuss it with us. Discuss it. Yeah, like okay. say like yeah. People assume about this or whatever. All right, I like that. All right, that's good. Right. We're learning. <laughs> still learning. 13 years later. <laughs> All right, number two. Many interracial couples shy away from hot topics like racism. I'm gonna go, I'm going strongly disagree again. I'm gonna say disagree. Okay. Yeah, because, well I guess, I guess I can't strongly disagree because there is gonna be those couples that do shy away from it. Mm -hmm. But I feel like for the most part, you can't really shy away from it, especially in social media. I feel like a lot of people lean into it and like discuss it and try to break down those barriers for people that don't understand. Mm -hmm. um, and like point fingers and, and assume things about interracial relationships. So, but there are gonna be ones that do shy away from it. So you, I, I, I kind of disagree, but I'm not gonna change my answer. You can change your answer here. All right, disagree, yay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like, now you can change your answer. All right, why do you disagree? I feel like you're right. I feel like if you're in an interracial relationship, mm -hmm. by the time you like start dating and stuff, yes. 
you sh you won't shy away too much, especially when you're gonna be faced with it probably mm. a couple times. Right. So I don't know if the, I mean let us know in the comments what you think, but I don't feel that in a in a relationship relationship you're gonna shy away from it. Right. Maybe you would, but I don't. Let but, me know what you think. Well, I feel like I feel like if you do shy away from topics like that, like. Like, I remember a couple of years ago, there was a lot of things going on. Mm -hmm. um, and if you shy away from it in those moments, you're going to lose yourself. Right. Like, you know, because you're going to disconnect there. You have to be completely honest, open, talk to each other. Like, how do you feel about this? And if you don't, then you're going to lose each other. Exactly. So, All this right. is fun. This is pretty fun. All right, that's <laughs> neutral. All right, next question. Interracial couples allow other opinions, others' opinions, affect their well-being. This is a hard one. All right, so I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with agree. I'm gonna say agree too. Um, so like I feel like with us, like we've been in social media for like what four or five years, almost almost five years now. I'm gonna strongly agree. Okay. Um, so like we we see it a lot, a lot more than normal people like walking around would. Mm -hmm. So I could see if you are in a relationship and then you go meet the family and the family has negative assumptions mm. about the other race, it's gonna very strongly affect like how you feel because. They're gonna be like, I don't like her, blah, blah, blah. And they're gonna affect like your mentality on it. Go ahead, what were you gonna say? No, I agree with you, yeah. 100%. I remember when we first started dating, that mm -hmm. was my biggest thing. Fear. I was like, I can't fully invest myself in him until I meet his family. And right. I was so scared to meet your family because I didn't know what they would think of right. me. Right, I could see that. So if they weren't with our relationship, mm -hmm. I was not gonna date you. Right. Like, that would 100% affect yeah. everything about our relationship. So. Bonus question. So this is because this is also a hot topic that I've seen people discuss. Do you feel like, do you feel like um, being African American meeting a white person's family is more scary, or do you feel like being a white person meeting an African American family is more scary? Being accepted. A hundred percent all the way. Me, baby. hundred percent. Yeah, yeah okay. it's definitely gonna be. What do you think? I mean, I, I like I said, there's always situational because I have seen cases where like. But it's very. It's, very it's probably scarce. probably less. It's probably more scarce. Yeah. Yeah, probably I can more see that. scarce. Whereas like, but the, the, the African American family won't accept white people, like, cause I don't know, because they have transgressions, because they've probably been treated poorly or, right. you know. Right, but it's gonna be a lot. A lot more the other way around. <laughs> Let's be honest. Let's be Let us know what you think about that one in the comments. <laughs> All right, next one. Um, interracial couples feel that their type of relationship is superior. I'm going strongly disagree. Strongly disagree. Yeah. And it's funny, most of the times I forget I'm in an interracial relationship. Mm -hmm. And like, and then people will comment about it like, why am I seeing, you know, this interracial, they're trying to be trendy, they're trying to do this and that. I'm like, we're, we're, we just love each other. Right. Like, I don't know, we don't think about that. Right. So, what are you saying? I agree. I feel like if you're in a, in a relationship, I know there's some unicorns out there who like seek that out and like obsess That's over true. it. That and is like, true. Uh, you know, put their whole life on that. But mm -hmm. I feel like, most interracial relationships, you just happen to love that person. Like right. I've dated, uh, like everyone else was another, like my race. Right. Um, and you look just happened to be another race. So yeah. I didn't seek out. No, I didn't seek a, it out. A different race mm -hmm. to be in that kind of relationship. It just happened. And like now that we're on social media, like I'm seeing it a lot more. I'm wondering because it's being browsed to us more because we're in a relationship. Right. Um, but I could see how others will feel that way because I feel like it is becoming like popularized mm -hmm. now but we've been together for 13 years so i mean back then nobody was really in it so yeah. but i could see how people could feel that way Let, that's a, i really want to know your opinion on that one what do you think yeah battery's dead oh, i'm getting the battery and i'm back sorry the battery died so no we do not believe that in a relationship relationships are the superior relationship um i strongly disagree on that one so next question is you hate your own race if you're in an interracial relationship it's One, funny, two. I've seen that. I've seen people say that a lot. What do you think? <laughs> Strongly disagree. 100% disagree. 100% disagree. Well, that's like the, whenever people say that, it's like, I feel like it's the dumbest comment I've ever seen in my life. I mean, but I, I could kind of see, because like I said, there are people out there who seek out, mm -hmm. you know, those kind of relationships, and they would say like negatively about their own race. I'm the kind of person that's, if I'm hearing you bash white people, if you hear me bash right. black people, I feel like I would never want to be with you. Right. It's like, if you, if you could turn on your own race like that, that's right. kind of scary. Yeah, that's, I, it's, yeah, I don't know. Like when, when I've seen people comment that, I guess I just don't understand it because, it no, 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 no. I, sorry, I don't want to fall off. I want to, <laughs> um, because I didn't, I, when I see people comment that, I'm just, I don't understand it because I'm like, how would you hate your own race? Like why, why would, why would you falling in love with someone of another race make you hate your own race? Right. It's just confusing to me. I can see that. I, I definitely want to hear you guys' thought process on this because to me it just doesn't make sense. Me too. Alright, next one. 
You're together for a reason more than love. You know what I'm trying to say? I can't say the word because. Oh gosh. I don't want to get demonetized. Uh, F E T. Yeah. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> like, strongly disagree. Strongly disagree. Sorry, go ahead. You put your score up on my bed. There okay. you go. Yeah, there we go. Strongly disagree. Like, there's no. I mean, I like Lucas said. Like, I. Whenever we start dating, like, I literally just said he's hot mm -hmm. and tall and yeah, tall. But I say he's hot and he's funny, he's kind. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to know him more. Right. And that was it. Yeah. And so like I would say if it is for that reason, like if you have like a specific reason to date that person or like be with them, then you're definitely not gonna last very long. No. So, <laughs> no. And you're definitely not gonna get married. Definitely not gonna get married. It's not gonna I last it's not, it's not gonna last long at all. Yeah. So it's funny, I love when people comment on our stuff sometimes. They don't know, like, especially Instagram, they don't know how long we've been together. They're like, yeah. I'll give them three months. You're like, 13, <laughs> 13 years, years and two <laughs> kids later. Yeah. Wait until you have kids. We're like, we have wait two. Until we have two. <laughs> you do, they're like, wait until you have kids. We're like, we, we have two. <laughs> you can tell us their first video of us. <laughs> yeah, and, and we're trying for the third one. Like, let's be real. Um, So, a couple more questions, three more. Okay. Oh, no, two more, sorry. Friends and family members don't see these relationships as an issue. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this in general because Where are you going? Um, you go first. And I'm gonna go because I don't want you to, I don't want you to feed off mine. Right. Okay, I'm gonna go disagree on that. I was gonna say disagree as well. Okay, you cut the cat. <laughs> I was not, I promise. We should go at the same time next time. Okay, okay. So I definitely can see there being issues with it. Mm -hmm. We were very blessed that there was no issues, but I could definitely see families that that there's gonna be an issue with it. And I mean, yeah, unfortunately that's that's the truth. That's the reality of it. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna say? I was gonna say the same thing, especially yeah. like, remember white and black is not the only interracial relationship. Right. So I could see some issues coming up in like different kind of cultures. Uh -huh. um, and I know some cultures are very, very like strict on like right. the type of people you date or the type of relationships you have. So I can 100% see mm -hmm. family members and family friends having an issue for yeah. sure. Yeah. It definitely, it definitely happens. It still happens. Hopefully one day it won't happen, but... We're all yeah. going to be the same color one day. One day, hey, we're all going to be a little Mixing mocha. <laughs> mocha. <laughs> mocha. <laughs> all right, last question. So next question is, dating someone of a different race mean you cannot be racist? One, two, three. I'm going to go with strongly disagree. Yeah, I'm going to go strongly disagree too. Yeah, because... You, you mean, I'm sure there's there's people that are still gonna have transgressions out there, like they happen to love that person, and I don't think this is healthy, but I still think they might think negatively of the race, right. if that makes sense. But they're like, well, this person's different than I'm with, like, mm -hmm. you know, I love them, and they're they're different. They're not like the other African Americans that I don't like, or right. whatever, choose your race, what I, I don't like. Right, I yeah. agree on that one. Which is probably not a good thing. Horrible. It's probably very toxic and it might not last long. No. Like yeah. Lucas said, everything Lucas said I agree with. Like it definitely yeah. is someone saying, oh, well, they're different. Right. It's like, I don't know. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right, next one. So the next question is, the difference in historical treatment of each partner's race is irrelevant. Are we ready? One, two, three. Strongly oh, disagree. <laughs> yeah. Straight irrelevant. Yeah. And like, and to to ignore that is to be part of the problem. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, if you're just gonna sit here and say like, oh, like you know, like That's that okay. wasn't you, that was your ancestors, right, right. and that, like to ignore that is yeah. anyway. Like, we could make a whole video on that. Really. Right. What are you gonna say about it? No, great. So to yeah. ignore that is horrible. Like, yeah. That is a part of who each you know, cultures right. is, is their past. It'd be like to ignore a part of you. Right, and and all of these stuff that's going on now, it's like, mm -hmm. you can't just say that's irrelevant. There's right. still stuff going on, Right. you know? And if you're gonna be with that person, you need to be able to be a partner and be able to right. realize that this is very relevant to that person. Right, and be able to like stand next to them and support them no matter no matter what. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, that's your, your love of your life, you know? Yep. All right, so that's all the questions oh, for this topic. That was that so was fun. Short. I, feel like, short. I feel like people are gonna be like, "That was too short. Make it longer." <laughs> <laughs> so if, if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button because when we see the likes, that's how we know if you guys truly really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And if we see the comments, like how comments go, that's how we know you guys truly really enjoy it. Right. And also, don't forget to comment below different topics and whichever topic we will pick for next video, we're gonna put in the community tab and then do this video for you guys. Mm -hmm. I have special homework for you guys. If you really enjoyed it and you know someone else that would enjoy it, share it with them mm -hmm. and then help help spread it. Like, let's go, let's make this a thing. This would be really fun. That would be it. I like to see this. Good yeah, idea. I do. Good idea, baby. Cheers. Right. We love you guys so much. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.